What is up guys, gals, minions, and obviously thespians of the YouTube area, <laughs> or tri-state area. <laughs> it's me, Noir Proxy, and as you can see here, we're playing some more Batman Arkham Origins. And I have been waiting patiently to continue playing this game. I've been so, so busy, I'm really, really sorry I haven't had any more videos coming out and stuff like that. But I've just been, as I said, I've just been really, really busy, and I've been, I've just been really wanting to play this game. I've, oh my goodness, I've been enjoying it so much. This is the thing, though. Everyone, well, not everyone, but critics didn't like this game as much as Arkham City and stuff. But me? I think it's one of my favourites compared to Arkham City and Arkham Asylum, which is really weird because... Actually, no, it's not very weird because I seem to have a really different opinion to everybody else. But then again, I am human. I mean, I'm a bunny. <laughs> so, you know, that kind of makes sense, actually. I mean, everyone has entitled to their own opinion. Everyone think, has different tastes and stuff like that. But... I don't know, it's just weird. Does anyone else think it's weird? I mean, do, do you prefer this one over the other two games? Or do, what, what's your favorite order in the games? Is it Arkham City, then Arkham Asylum, then Arkham Origins? I think that's generally the preference, like, order right. I don't know, but this one's actually... I'm gonna say Arkham Asylum, Arkham Origins, and then Arkham City so far. I just, as I mentioned in a few videos ago, or it was the last video, I can't remember, I just... <sighs> I didn't like the ending to Arkham City. I think they built up this massive thing. And it was that whole Protocol 10 thing, and it ended up just being this really sucky moment where they just end up killing criminals with helicopters, and it was like, really? Helicopters? I mean, I'm Bruce Wayne. I could have done that ages ago. <laughs> and you're just thinking of doing this now? But anyway, we are now at Gotham Merchants Bank. We're gonna see who's in here. We think, maybe. Now, don't get too excited. I'm gonna get really excited, but... Joker might be here. We don't know yet, though. We're gonna find out. It's gonna be awesome. Ooh, wait, there's a body in there. A potential hostage to save! Don't worry, fleshy thing. Batman's here. <laughs> I may have killed them with that explosion. Are you okay? So they says... Dead. <laughs> okay, never mind. Either way, let's just infiltrate the merchant's back. Wait, wait, why would there be security guards here, though, in the attic? It just seems a little bit weird, don't you think? Must be something really important to defend here. Well, it is a bank, but... Oh wait, the alarms have already been set off, so they've already done their little deed. Am I late? Hmm. Interesting. So it's a bank, and it's also a clock. That doesn't really make much sense. That's like... I don't know, you must be raking in the money. <laughs> Having to be the city alarm clock and a bank. Then again, though... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's do... Ooh! I'll do this again. Oh, 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 oh dear. Uh, Alfred, tech broke. T oh, not again. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Does that mean that thing? Oh, it's there, look. This is that jammer thing that gets in the way all the time. Why would you put it in such an obvious place, though? I mean, it kind of makes this whole, like, puzzle a bit of a waste of time. You just, you're just becoming a speed bump. <laughs> An obstacle in my way. And I don't like obstacles. Okay, let's try this again. Without anything in the way. Though it does say that security level's quite high. But, wait a minute. I'm sorry, back out a second. Crypto... I mean, that looks way more... That little bar is, like, nearly over halfway. That's way more than two bars. Don't you think? Seems a little bit... Contradict it. I don't know. I'm, just, I'm not gonna stop complaining. I wanna find out what happens in the bank. So let's go. Let's do this thing. Open sesame? Oh, I'm good. I'm Come on. Come on. Give me a kiss. Mm. Mm. <laughs> right, here we go. Into the door. Where we go. I want to get a bond out. Can I get Can I get a bond? Ooh. We've got a level up to... Wait. If there are any bad guys in here, don't move just yet. I want to upgrade myself. Now, one really awesome thing that I mentioned is that I've been going around the city, having a little play, having a little grind, and just, just indulging in the world of Arkham Origins. And so what I've been able to do is I've been able to get a nice little selection of upgrades, as you can see here. So we now have the special combo multi-ground takedown. And we also have the combo Bat Swarm. Really awesome abilities. Bat Swarm's more of a stunning ability, as it says here, stunning all nearby enemies. While this one is actually quite useful. I mean, the Bat Swarm's useful too, but this one is really useful. Now, let's say that you've been using your free flow combat combo theme jig, punching everyone to the floor. So you have four dudes with little birdies around their head, or stars. I know it's stars. I just thought it'd be really cool if there were birdies. And let's see them on the ground. And then what you can do is press A and B together and do this, and he actually jumps up into the air and throws a massive barrage, as it says in the description, of batarangs to all of your foes that are all dizzy. And it takes them all out at once. Really useful, really ponage. Again, though, it does get rid of your flea throw, and I don't know if it kind of like adds to your, say if you're doing like the challenge, you know, the battle challenges and stuff. I don't know if it actually kind of benefits to use it, because it's, I feel like it's a little bit more of like a special move. 
I don't know. Anyone in the comment section below can let me know about that because it is useful, but maybe too useful. But I don't know if it actually benefits you when getting a better score and stuff. I don't know. But seeing as we have all of these upgrades, we can now get the special combo boost. So instead of having to wait till eight combo meter, I think it was, we just need to go to five, which is excellent. So I'm gonna get this and you're not gonna judge me. I mean, what would you get? I mean, there's really anything to get now, is there? I mean, it's, we are in an invisible predator moment, a scenario, but I mean, there's not really anything here that could benefit us. I mean, I really want that. Quick silent takedown is going to be awesome. But apart from that, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, let's just move on. Bodies everywhere. The Joker may still be here in the vault. I should use caution. Oh, look at all those dudes. That is actually a lot of... Mm, I don't know about this. I do not know about this at all. And why do... Why have they all got hats and TVs on their heads? <laughs> it's really weird. They must have had a really awesome party before we did this. Okay, so... Do you really want me to go through that door with all the armed gunmen? I don't think this is a really good idea, Batman. I mean, if you want to do that... Wait a minute, isn't the door locked? Oh, wait a second. I mean, it... There's a little... There's something more sinister going on here. I mean, out of all the villains that we've faced so far, there has been nobody like this kind of person who does these kind of deeds. I mean, it has to be the Joker. I mean, who puts a present on somebody's crotch? <laughs> That's just gross. I mean, it is a surprise and a pretty nice gift to your loved one, I guess, but at the same time, I I, I don't want to have that under my tree. So, wait, how do we... Oh, wait, there's a vent here! Maybe. If so, wait, we're not going to go through the front door, so this might be actually a really good idea, but at the same time, how are you supposed to take down a group of armed thugs with guns? I mean, this isn't just standard armed with, like, the baseball bats and the knives and the bottles and just the, the, the love, the armed love, the weaponized love. This is actual bullets, hate bullets, and they will kill you. Yeah, here we go. Oh, wait, ooh, Enigma Pack. I don't think it's actually the right way. Is this the right way? No, it's just taking us around in a circle. I mean, we did find something really awesome there, but... Just push this kind of little moth floating next to me. Kind of a creepy one, actually. It's not really moving that well. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, I mean, we could go through... I feel like... Does the game really want me to go through the door? I'm... I'm I, I can go through the door. If you want me to go through the door, I'll go through the door. Okay, well, let's just see if we can go through the door. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, you, you can't walk in there. They're all gonna fill you up with bullets. That's just a bad idea. But... I mean, where else could we go? We could go outside the window. I mean, oh wait, wait, wait. what about that look? Ah, another vent. So many vents in this game. I don't know. Batman nearly, never really used vents in like the cartoons or the movies. It's kind of weird that the game series kind of has him exploit vents a lot. <laughs> it's just really odd. Hello. Oh, I see what you want me to do. But is that a good idea? Dear. I mean, we're still gonna end up landing in a room full of armed dudes. We might only really take like one of them down or something. I mean, can I disable one of the. No? This is gonna be interesting. If I die, I just want you to know, minions. I really love you. <laughs> Here we go. Drop in the spray. Should we, should we have a countdown? I'm thinking a countdown. I can take two of them out. I mean, that might be good. Okay, here we go. One. Two. Think you can just waltz into my bank, huh? Roman, I'm here for the Joker. The Joker? <laughs> Never heard of him. How about you, dog? Know the Joker? The who? <laughs> and you, sir? Name Joker? Ring a bell? <laughs> You son of a bitch! You think you can steal from me? Get away with it! You're a dead man! Dead! Can't you just play along? You're insane! This whole time, you hired the assassins. 
You've been running Sionis's operation. Well, technically, it's my operation now. Isn't that right, boys? You got me. Now let her go. Oh, life would be so simple if you were all I wanted. No, no, you're just a teeny little distraction compared to what I've got up my sleeve. <laughs> Joker! That was awesome! <laughs> he ain't dead. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It must be a bad connection. I thought I'd say that after I shot him. It blew up a building on him. The back of the house survived! If he was dead, there'd be a body. There ain't no body! Well, since I know that's impossible, I'm going to let you... Something's jamming my signal. I need to figure out what it is and take it out. Creepy how well Troy Baker was able to pull up that voice. I need to hurry before he kills Sionis or anyone else. I mean, don't you think it's really weird? I mean, this is Troy Baker. This is the guy who voiced Joel in The Last of Us. And Mark Hamill's Joker impression, or the thing that he created, is something really special, really unique. And the fact that Troy Baker's been able to replicate that just shows his sheer talent for the for his VA job and stuff. It's just crazy. It's so odd. I think when they first announced that Troy Baker was going to voice the Joker, no one really knew if he could pull it off in a way. But the fact that he's been able to do it is... Kind of awesome, don't you think? What do you think, though? Comment section below. Would love, love, love to know. Anyway, we've destroyed the Jammer Dude. I mean, these guys were in Arkham City and Asylum, right? I mean, it's a shame that they're reusing assets, but again, I mean, they were quite challenging. Uh, so much for my crack team of vicious monsters. It's really odd. I mean, what can Troy Baker not do? I don't even want to find out. I mean, it's just, it'd be too creepy. I mean, what else do you think he could try voicing? What about Solid Snake? Oh, that'd be crazy. Colonel, it's me, Solid Snake. <laughs> that'd be awesome. I mean, what would you think? Comment section below, as I said. Gotcha. Oh, wait. Watch out. That was close. I mean, remember, we did open this fence. That's a little peekaboo in here again. <laughs> I mean, we could actually use this vent to our advantage, because remember, there is a great here look. So, if someone's able to pop up over here, you might be able to take them down, fly away. At least it's another bird, with a fisty-faced looking stone. Anyone want to join in? Actually, again, we've got these walls here, we could put some of that explosive gel on it. Though, let's see what this dude first does. Alright, yeah, no one's coming this way. Okay. Okay, actually, actually, yes, we might be able to do this. I'm thinking we might be able to do this. So if I, actually, I'm on the right angle, I'm on the right. Ooh, use it to your advantage. Okay, okay. First things first, let's weaponize the walls. I mean, I think that's going to be quite useful, don't you think? All right, here we go. That's one. Excellent. Right, now we just need to get to the next one. If I can do that. Let's see if I can pull this off. Ooh, don't see me. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm dressed in black, which is obviously the color of the shadows. Right, phew. Okay, cool. Now let's just pop up here a second. <gasps> Here we go, and then boom. Right, good thing we were able to do that. It's kind of weird that he ended up walking towards it though. Do you think the game kind of adapts and lets you take advantage of the things that you pop down? I'm not entirely sure, I'm not entirely sure. Right, we've got three dudes left, let's take them down and then get back home for Christmas. Oh wait a minute, we've got to worry about the Joker and so I completely forgot, I thought this was the end of the game. <laughs> Actually look, this guy's above. A great, but if I take him down, then his friends will probably see us, and then shoot us in the face. And I don't really want that to happen, seeing as the Joker did probably chip away at most of my armor from those gunshot wounds. Why would Batman take that in the face? Maybe just that taken aback by the Joker. I'm, I don't know. Right, who who wants to make the next move? Do you want to be you or you or you or 
There's not really anyone else because I kind of pwned all your friends. <laughs> Alright, wait a minute. We want this friend here to turn around. Or everyone else to wander in different rooms. We're going to take this dude down under here first. If, if the game will let me get down here. Right, there we go. Okay. And now the other two dudes are on like completely opposite sides of the room, which is awesome. So. I'm thinking we go for target A or B. That one's A, this one's B. Bing! Okay, that was kind of weird. I was kind of expecting that to explode under his feet, but it didn't do that. I mean, I thought that's what the Sonar Battle Round was supposed to do. Is he giving up? Oh my goodness, he gave up! <laughs> he just, he couldn't give in to my balsomeness. Oh dear. Okay, cool. Let's interrogate the... Hi. He kind of looks like... He kind of reminds me of those dudes from Payday. Don't hurt me. Oh, you're in for a world of hurt anyway. But I want to get some information. Stop! Stop! Where's the Joker going? Guy's nuts, man. Killed about a quarter of black masked men when they wouldn't take orders from him. Unless you want to join them, talk. He said something about the steel mill. That's Sionis's mill. <laughs> it's Joker's mill now. Ain't no way you're getting in there. I didn't ask for your opinion. <clears throat> huh. Alfred, pull schematics on Sionis Industries steel mill. Joker's taking Sionis there. He's going to kill him. Unless I get there first. This Joker sounds dangerous. He's taken over Black Mask's operations and slaughtered the men who wouldn't turn. He's the one who hired the assassins. And it must be he who ordered the bombing of the GCPD. Oh, dear Lord, shouldn't you think about letting the police handle this one? Not a chance. He's mine. Whoa, 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 whoa. So he's been actually planning this entire thing. But why? I mean, also, why would the Joker just try and go for a bank? It doesn't seem like the Joker. I mean, the Joker doesn't really have any kind of use for money. I mean, even in, like, the cartoons and stuff, he generally just got money to kind of do his scheme, but... Has he kind of just got what he wanted? I mean, he's replaced Sionis, he's kind of like wearing the mask and stuff, so he's in disguise. And he's kind of already like set the bombs and stuff, so why did he go to the bank? Does he really need money? It just seems... Something's not right. Something's definitely not right. Anyway, I guess we should just go through the front door unless everyone tries to... I mean, wait, all these like blue and red lights, does that mean there's gonna be cops outside? I don't know, let's find out. If there are, I could take them all down, unless they've all got guns, which they probably do, and then I'm just gonna die and everyone's gonna be sad. Right, so we've got two with guns, so if we use our disruptor, that's one potato. Where's potato two? <laughs> there we go, awesome. So we can actually take them down, but oh, there's no way we can go around them though. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, never mind. I mean, can I sneak around them a little bit closer? Here we go, we can take this to our advantage. Right? Oh, yes, sir. Absolutely. And no more yanking. I want a dead silent. Anyone here as much as a pin drop, call it out. Can anyone else hear a crying baby? That's kind of creepy, don't you think? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, if we hide behind here a little bit longer, I'm about to sneak around and get two kills. Okay, here we go, here we go. Might be able to pull this off. This would be balsam if we can do this. Oh, I was going to try and go for a double, but never mind. <laughs> right, who wants some? You first? Oh, wait, 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 watch out for the shield. I forgot about the shield. I'm sorry. Right, there we go. Whoa, a little bit too close for comfort. Remember that if you have a bunch of dudes all crowning around you, then it can be a little bit harder to take them down. Whoa. Right, focus on Mr. Heavy Man here. Come on, watch out! We can do this! Like a bounce! <laughs> Rejection! By foot! <laughs> oh, wait a minute! Oh, he came back to his senses! Oh, at least... I mean, that's the good thing, though. I mean, at least you actually do damage them over time. So you'd have to do the entire beatdown all over again. I mean, that would suck, don't you think? Boom shakalaka. And we're also now able to do our double counter combo thing too. So maybe it's only times five we need to get to to use our special abilities. Excelente. Right. Oh, wait a minute before we leave. Got some cleaning up to do. There we go, excellent. Only one more to actually do in the Bowery Network to get those relays all done. Excellent, excellent. I don't even know what you get, so possibly we might actually see that. <gasps> wait, does that mean it's that one there, look? I mean, if we could get this, we could actually see what it unlocks. Which would be kind of... Kind of, uh, kind of awesome. I don't want to. <laughs> There's a baby there. Uh, hi, hi there, little fella. 
It's Proxy! <laughs> come to come to save you? Are you okay? But does that say interrogate or investigate? There's nothing here. Whoa! It's Shiva! Shiva. Trying to collect the bounty? That's just a consolation prize. In case you fail the test. Test? I don't have time for this. Somewhere in New Gotham, an innocent man is about to die. And we both know you won't allow that. So the question is, can you find him, Batman? Can you save him? Right, well, that was a little weird. Shiva's test of worth. Find the innocent man. So this is another one of the assassins. But here's a question. Now, you may have noticed that there's this little recording thing in the crib. Why did she have one on her back? Did Batman put that on her when... When she did the whole counter thing? I don't know. I mean, I generally thought that Batman's little tracking things were a little smaller than that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. And because it had duct tape on it too and stuff. I don't know. I mean, she has a really smartly like done outfit and the fact that she has like a duct taped radio on her shoulder is kind of weird and off-putting. Still though, I think we're going to have to end this one here. But before we do that, let's just pwn some dudes quickly. Get a little bit of more exercise. <laughs> so what are we doing now? So we've got two things we could do. We could either go do the Shiva mission or we could go do the Joker one and stop him at the... What was it? A refinery or something? So that's gonna be kind of cool. What should we do? Isn't that actually his like home base in the other games? Or at least in Arkham City? I think so. I can't really remember. It's kind of cool though. It's still really, really cool. And then Batarang! Ooh, right in the nose! I'm really sorry. At least I got your buggers out. No, Batman, don't put that in your mouth! <laughs> okay, Minions is Mino our Proxy, playing some Arkham Origins on the PC on max settings. Let me know in the comment section below, though, what do you think? Now, actually, before we go, where is Shiva's little job mission-y thing? So that's Anarchy, right? We don't, we don't care about that. Point of interest for Enigma's transmissions. No. And there, if you just see under there, that's the final weapon cache for Penguin, or against Penguin for Barbara Gordon. Where is this? Where is this innocent man? Hmm. Very interesting, very interesting indeed. Still, though, we should probably go to the steel mill. I think we go to the steel mill. Anyway, I'll see you guys, girls and minions, next time, though. Ciao.